This is the most popular jacket from the well-known TV show Yellowstone. This is a Freenote Riders Vox jacket and in this video I'm gonna review it. I just bought this Freenote clothes Riders Vox jacket in rust color and I want to share my first thoughts and impressions. I love Vox jackets and I have a few of those. I have Barbaros, Rock Territory, Jack Spade and so on. I recently started to look for a similar to my Rock Territory Vox jacket but with lining. For colder weather. Now Rock Territory has a version of their own supply jacket with lining, but I wanted to try something different. And the option came up, the Free Knot Riders Vox Canvas jacket. This is precisely the jacket that one of the main Yellowstone characters is wearing on a screen every season. Now I wasn't a big fan of this TV show. But recently we watched one of the prequels to the show, we loved it, so we've decided to give it another try. Then there was 1883, which was not as good, and we finally ended up watching Yellowstone. While watching the series I thought that Casey Dutton's jacket looked familiar, and I was surprised to learn that this is actually the Free Not Clothes Rider's jacket he is wearing. So I bought it. I bought a medium size. For my jackets I move between small and medium. My size choice depends on a brand and how I want it fit. For some clothes I prefer more tailored fit, for some more generous. With this free knot jacket I went with medium. There are two reasons for that. First, I already have tailored Vox jacket from Rock Territory and second, I'm planning to wear it in the colder weather so I need some room for a sweater or a hoodie. It seems like the jacket fit is true to size, so if you want a more tailored slim fit and you want to wear it with t-shirt, you may go with your regular size. So the jacket is made out of 10 oz wax canvas. The jacket is currently available in 6 colors. Oak, tumbleweed, which is more like a tan, olive, charcoal, black and rust. I got the rust one. I also like the oak version, but I wanted something brighter. It is a lined jacket, which makes it warm and more cozy compared to unlined canvas jackets. The liner has a southwestern print and made in Japan. The sleeves liners are satin and also came from Japan. The patch is made by SB Tanning Co. from the USA. The metal trims made in Kentucky. And they are quite beautiful. The jacket is made sewn in the USA. Since this is a rider jacket, it has shoulder gussets and front pleat for more flexibility. The jacket has 5 pockets, 4 exterior pockets and 1 interior. The interior pocket is quite deep, you can easily use it for a large wallet or a smartphone. The build quality of the jacket is great, stitches seem carefully and precisely done and looks like the jacket is built to last. At the same time you can see uncut sewing threads in every buttonhole. That is not unusual from similar brands like Rock Territory for instance. Overall I'm very impressed with the jacket and its quality. I think it would be a great jacket for fall and spring. I like the fit and I think it would go great with a thick short sweater or hoodie underneath. Now I can't wait for colder weather to start breaking the jacket and working on a patina. Which probably won't be too long considering we live in Canada. Let me know if you have any questions about this specific jacket and I will address them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, bye now and take care.